Hi, this is Gary Kay. We are at Infocom 2022 on day two, the very beginning of day two. And I snagged Dan Smith of LG, Vice President of Sales of LG, to do a booth tour. So we're actually going to go through the whole booth here and actually take you on a tour. First off, uh, congratulations on another beautiful display. Yeah, we were excited to be here back in January, February, even March. We weren't sure if we were going to have a booth. Yeah. So kudos to the uh, team that actually put this together on very short notice. Well, you always have a, an audience because you always have something unique. And wh what I'm going to show you at the end of this tour is LG launched robots. And I know that you're thinking, why would I want a robot? But uh, if you're, you're going to see why you're going to want to sell robots. So that's going to be kind of at the end of the tour. But I kind of <laughs> want to walk through the bit. Like, let's imagine, you know, there's going to be a couple hundred thousand people that are in our industry that won't be here at the show, that won't have a chance to experience Good it. Good point. And I want them to kind of walk through the booth with us and, and kind of imagine what it would be like to come into this booth. Yes. Right? All right. Is that good? Yes. It's I'll follow your lead. All right, so first, what the first thing I noticed is that you've got some, uh, you know, a section here on education, and obviously education, interactive display technology has become a big deal, and bigger displays. Everyone's wanting bigger displays that they can do more interaction with, and also we have a lot more students that are joining remotely, mm -hmm. and uh, even in True. corporate education, same way. Yes. So when you look at interactive digital boards, if you look at the progression of technologies, the IDB is actually probably one of the fastest growing technologies. I'd say only second to LED. But what we're showing here at the show is a upgraded all-in-one solution. We call it the one quick. So on the wall back there, you'll see that it, it's a high end. Right now it's 43 and 55 inch. It's an IDB and it uses a PCAP in-cell touch, so it's a very advanced, no parallax error, very quick response. It's got a 4K built-in PTZ, pan-tilt zoom camera, that does autofocus, auto-zoom. It runs Windows 10, so it runs basically all the applications you want. As a matter of fact, you see across the bottom right now, the application store that's available, all you do is scroll to whatever video conferencing app you like, touch it, download it, and now you basically have a full video conferencing system, 43, 55, floor standing, wall mount solution. Yeah, and uh, this is one of the newest things that y'all introduced. Uh, this is not even uh, six months old yet, right? The collaboration products, right about six months? So this all-in-one solution is very new for us, but there's, of course, the continuous evolution of IDB, maybe more for like a K-12, where you're looking for, I need something that's effective in larger sizes, right? So 43 through 86 inch, the TR3DJ is an IR, it runs on Android, it has uh, up to 30 simultaneous users, so the price point on this one is going to be much more effective for the K-12 through in the education market. Okay, and, and I see next to it here there's a 98 inch, is it the same thing but just larger or is that a different product there that's on the right? So the 98 to the right is demonstrating the fact that for video conferencing, so these products are used both for education and for corporate applications, yeah. correct? So what it's showing there is that we are certified with Cisco. When you connect a Cisco video conferencing solution to it, when you connect that HDMI, they know it's an LG display, they know it's a Cisco VC, they actually communicate and 12 parameters are set on the LG display the way Cisco likes it. And then it also can be controlled by the Cisco controller. So you've got an all-in-one solution. You've got a K through 12, you know, IR type of solution. Also for video conferencing, that is a really easy plug and play. It makes life much easier setting up and using the product. You've had a long relationship with uh, Cisco with, a pro with uh, versions of that product. Now you've yes. got it in a 98. While we're here, this is, an all, this is your all-in-one LED, which I love because I, I want one of these badly here at, at UNC because I love the fact it's on wheels and I love the idea of teaching outside. So I know, <laughs> this, I know this is not affordable yet for my classroom purposes, but I know a lot of people are, are interested in the all-in-one all -in LED and this just connects up through an HDMI port, right? Yeah, so the, the all-in-one solutions, what we found as we grew our LED line is that there was a lot of mystery, confusion, and fear around LED. So we have built a lot of packages. This is the one we sell constantly. What's really exciting about this all-in-one package is it ships in one flight case. There's only two cabinets. It comes with every connector, every cable, every bolt, every skew, screw, every mount, everything you need all in one. But not only does it ship easy, install easy, but it's easy to use because it has an LG controller. So what does that mean? 
That means the jack pack is what you're used to using on an LG display. It means the remote is the exact same as your LG display. It means the on-screen display, the GUI, everything is exactly, so this behaves and acts just like an LCD, just like an LCD monitor. Okay, it's yeah. just there's, there's two panels to put together to make it. Now, the stand you see on it right now is an optional rolling stand. It goes up and down. The reason it goes up and down is this won't clear most doorways unless you drop it, and then you can roll it into another room and raise it back up. Yeah, I love that. I love it. I love it. I think it's one of the best all-in-ones on the market. I, uh, I love the technology. So back here, you're showing two home applications. One is work from home, and the other one is entertain from home. Uh, let's talk about the work from home application. I mean, obviously all of us are familiar with this now, and you're showing sort of like application-based stuff here. So uh, when we talk about LG, there's such a breadth of products. You'll see the one quick that we talked about mounted on the wall. You'll see a one flex also that's on the ground. But when you look at LG, you may also be familiar with the fact that we're extremely strong in the IT space, the notebook space. The LG Gram notebooks, like the one that you see there, we actually are in the Guinness Book of World Records for the lightest notebook. So we uh, have a magnesium frame, we have DCI 99% uh, color gamut on the notebooks, it has extremely long life batteries. Our two-in-one is like almost 20 hours of battery life. Our 17 inch runs around 20 hours of battery I life. I had that in my laptop. Yes, we run the latest uh, Gen 11 i5s, i7s. Uh, they mill spec A10, so they meet the vibration. They're field ready military wise, in terms of vibration, cold, moisture. So I think when we're in this area, we see that we've already seen the one quick, but there's also the IT products, there's the notebook products, so, and the, we just have a chance to touch a few products here at this show, yeah. while the breadth is, is, would probably take a few hours to cover. And the one, and the one quick works is basically a, a collaboration board, right? I mean, it's the 43 inch collaboration product. Yep. And then here, the one quick flex, I'm, I'm not familiar with that. Tell me what that is. I see it's mounted vertically. Well, we, we give them two names. The 55 that's on the wall, we call one quick works, because we feel, yeah, that we feel the 55 is mostly going to be used in business application. We call the 43 One Quicks Flex because you can use it in a business application, but also people are starting to buy these and use them in their home. So it's flex for residential or home. Okay. Yeah, and that's, so then obviously, uh, you know, home theaters, uh, home entertainment, a lot more money has been spent on the home. People have upgraded their houses. I got a bigger TV. I'm sure you got a bigger TV. I want a, I want a big TV like this, but obviously uh, you know, not, not everyone can afford this because this is LED technology, so you're showing the best of the best. So if we think about LED for LG overall, we have 36 families by the end of this year. LED is so broad. So let's talk specifically about the residential one we're standing in front of. This is the next generation of the Magnet product. When you look at an LED screen, most people think, well, it's the LED, what's the pixel pits? That's right, the discussion. Yeah, yeah. There is so much more that goes into it yeah. than that. This is a 0.7, it's a chip on board, so it's a very high performance chip. But let's dig a lot deeper because there's so much more going on here. We actually put six layers on the front of this. Anti-fingerprint, anti-glare, anti-reflection. We put a black layer in there, we put a physical structure layer in there, we have an adhesion layer in there. So what happens is you get great viewing angles in hybrid environments, it looks fantastic. Fantastic. So the physical treatments of this are just as important as the chip on board. But then let's take a look at the way we process yeah, this. Yeah, and is the processor in the bottom down there? there? Is that the processor? Yes. That box? So we run the Alpha 9 processor, which you probably have heard of before because that's the one we run in our high-end OLEDs. Yeah. So this runs the high-end OLED uh, A9 processor, which gives you, as we talked about in the all-in-one, it gives you the same LG remote, it gives you the same scaling, color enhancement, gamma enhancement, edge enhancement, uh, it gives you the same on-screen display, the same GUI, uh, the same jack pack. So this is residential optimized. Yeah. This is 136 inch, we're about to start shipping it. Retail is going to be maybe a little over 300, we're not sure what street price is going to be yet. Yeah, I mean it's beautiful. I mean, I. I I, uh, I would not complain if one of these showed up. Yes. <laughs> but uh, obviously, uh, you know, LG has products for every application. So, um, I, you know, I've always loved the stretch, the ultra stretch products. Um, I think the digital signage applications of products like this are quite unique. Um, you've got it as in behind your, um, your reception counter there. But I see these all over airports and transportation centers all the time. 
So the 88 inch has found a lot of different homes. And as part of our ongoing LCD story, most people come to Infocom and say, well, LCD is LCD. It's yeah. kind of old story. There's not much to talk about. So the 88 inch stretch, like you said, is used a lot in transportation applications, retail applications. But it also, if I can kind of say, it embodies what we're doing with LCD. That panel and our LCD panels are IP5X sealed to get rid of dust and incursion. Uh, they, we run a conformal coated power supply on that to increase the durability on it. It's also got a same on screen that you're familiar with, but when you put it vertical, landscape or portrait, it automatically rotates the menus. Uh, also, it's got a built-in leveling system, so you turn on the app that's built into it to help level it. So there's a lot to be told in addition to the, in addition to the WebOS processing. Every year we're upgrading our WebOS processing and our SOC capabilities, and it's at the best it's ever been right now. So more than just LCD, it's the format, it's the functions, and that and story evolves. It, yeah, I, like, I didn't realize you even have that auto leveling feature where it can tell you whether it's level. So we're here doing an actual booth tour here in the LG booth during Infocom 2022 with Dan Smith, Vice President of Sales. Obviously, one of the products that everyone knows LG for is your OLED and your transparent OLED uh, blew our minds four or five years ago when we all saw it. Um, you know, this has sort of become a flagship product for you, right? So the transparent OLED has garnered a lot of attention. We're starting to see in a lot of unique and high-end applications. So this is a 55 inch. Um, we were the first people in the world to actually mass produce this. All the transparent OLEDs were hand built. Yeah. We actually have a factory that does this. And I can't tell you exactly what the details are yet, but this category is going to blow up. It's not just our 55. It's going to be a lot of other things moving oh, wow. forward. Oh, wow. OK, that gives us a little hint as to what's little coming. Teaser. Yeah, a little teaser. And of course, we, you have it as we walk by here. I want, want our uh, videographer to see it in a retail application, how you would use it in a retail store. Um, I think, go ahead, Dan. So we, we are literally uh, walking through a booth full of people here. By the way, if people think that no one came to Infocom, they're wrong. All they have to do is come to your booth and see that everyone's here. Yeah, the LG booth has been very popular. There's so many new technologies. Anybody that's a technology geek like myself, and I, can I say you, yeah, is going to love this booth. I mean, no, I mean, I always, loved it. always love your booth. Another thing that a few years ago you, you blew us all away with was, uh, the transfer, was the transparent LED, which was originally gray slash black and white, yes. but now you added color to it, and it's amazing. I mean, I see lots of applications for this, and it's really kind of an, LC, an L, a, a LED film, right? Yes, so it's a transparent film that can be adhered to glass. So you're right, we started with black and white, then we moved to color, then we moved to 24 millimeter color, then 14 millimeter spacing color, and uh, I'll tease a little bit like on the OLED, the future of this is really incredible. It's interesting. So this is being used a lot to garner attention on Windows. It's not meant to be high res. It's meant so you can yeah. see through it easily, right. but show an image right. to get attention. Yeah, it's experiential. It's yeah. experiential. I can see this in real te retail applications. Definitely Vegas. I can see that this kind of transformed the world of Vegas. Let's come on back here and, uh, and take a look at what, obviously, uh, one giant factor that you have a big, uh, a, a, leadership potential on is the fact that you have a direct replacement for an LCD video wall with a 55 inch uh, LED. Okay, so the video wall that we're talking about is the one over here. So LED we were talking about earlier, it's not just about what's my dot pitch, what's my package, right? right? So what you're looking at here is we've installed uh, the LED packages onto a 54 inch cabinet. So it installs four times faster than the traditional 27 inch cabinet. Also the physical mounting system locks it in place really quick. So it's four times physically faster install it. But what's also interesting is this product is cableless. So when you stack the cabinets, they, they wirelessly connect. So the power, the signal, and the control is all wireless. Is it display port? Is it how you're doing it? Or what do you no. do? Is it AV over? I can over show you the back of it if we have time to shoot some video. All you're going to see in the back is a fixed mount that just bolts together. No other wires, no other connections. The other thing I'll add, and you're going to get familiar with me saying this, is it has an Alpha 7 processor. So you're going to be familiar with the on-screen display, you're going to be familiar with the remote, you're going to be familiar with like the jack pack. So what we're trying to do is make LED much more accessible, much more familiar, much easier to install. So I'm going to repeat, 
it's not just about what is my what is my package. Is it SMD? Is it COB? And what's my dot pitch? There's so much more to LED. And in this particular case, because it is a 54-inch cabinet, uh, as you said, you can it, it'll provide you the ability to direct replacement for all the existing 55-inch LCDs that you would already have installed in the same form factor, basically. So if you want to replace a 55-inch LCD video wall, this is a fantastic product. Plus, we have the 110-inch LCD. Uh, Let's walk over there and check that out because uh, obviously, I mean, 110 inch. You just is that in the Guinness Book of World Records yet? Because that, isn't that the biggest LCD? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it is. But I think what's really interesting is we're shipping it. I have available inventory right now, so this is not. A, My house has a wall. <laughs> it, it's you're going to want the high end LED. I'm sure. I do. Uh, this is not a prototype. This is live. It's shipping. It's in stock. I mean, that's that's the fantastic thing about it. Everybody's familiar with our LCD products, our remotes, everything we talked about. We're also Crestron connected, Cisco certified, all that other stuff. So we keep all the other features. Just scale it up to 110. All right, and I promised, I promised the robot. So now we're going to talk about the robot. This is is it Clio? Is that how you pronounce it? So Chloe is what Chloe. we call our AI. So Chloe is the intelligence that's behind this robot. Okay. So we have two different types of robots we're showing here today. Uh, one is the delivery robot. There, it's available with shelves or it's available with drawers. So I can see like uh, in a hotel where you're delivering food to a, a room or delivering supplies to a room, you could send the robot. So you could send a robot to deliver something to the room. With this tray, t this tray configuration, that's usually what they use in restaurants yeah. to take food out to the tables. And then immediately people started taking their bus tubs and throwing the bus tubs back on here, let the robot run them back to the dishwasher. Yeah. And then the other robot that you have back here, what is the, I, I noticed this doesn't have shelves. Is this more for like hospitality where you would uh, use it as a greeter or use it as a virtual concierge, that kind of thing, or what is it for? So this is our guy bot or our wayfinding robot. So it's meant to help people find things, locate things. So if you're in a mall, if you're in an airport, you want to know where something is. If you're in a large store, say, hey, by the way, where's the men's running shorts? It can take you to them. But it, but it does other things too. Uh, it also can act as a security robot because it live streams its video. Uh, so it, it can be used for other things. It's both the front and the back have 27 inch touch screens. Yeah, so it could be a digital science display too. Yeah, exactly. It can roam around a store and they can ask questions of it, search things, and it can run promos as it walks around the store or the mall. That's amazing. I mean, and obviously it's got a docking station here on the floor that it will go back to when it needs to be recharged. Yep, it knows when it needs to recharge, just like humans. It's kind of cool. So it just, it's kind of like the iRobot vacuum cleaner thing where it yeah. just kind of goes back when it does it. Look, this has been great. I appreciate you doing this. This is kind of crazy hectic, but for you to do this and be willing to kind of wait our way so through here. You haven't here. seen the Pro OLED. Do we have oh, that's, yeah, that's, let's go for it. Let's go for it. We're going to walk this way. I, I totally forgot about the Pro OLED. I mean, we already have OLED, but we now have Pro OLED. All right, we're going to make our way here. All right, so for professional uh, uh, art and uh, graphic design applications and production, right? So LG is known for its performance of its OLED. Uh, the new panels are absolutely incredible in terms of color breadth, accuracy. So what we've done is we've adapted that physical platform with a different intelligence. So that if someone is creating content, modifying content, doing editing, a colorist that's in there, a broadcaster, this is a display that would go in a broadcast or a editing area where they need to know the color. If you want to set it for Rec 709, Rec 2020, what gamma curve do you want? What PQ point yeah, do you yeah, What HDR, non-HDR? Every color setting you want, you can select on these. It even has 10, I uh, can remember, 10 different settings. So if you pick eight parameters, let's put it in setting one. Eight different parameters for a different project, put it on setting one. So we have 32 inch, 27 inch, and 65 inch. Uh, we recently showed this at a National Association of Broadcasting is an AB show, and it got best of award, best to show. Um. So I could see, you know, when you're doing uh, TV and film production, and uh, and also, uh, you know, even uh, broadcast television production, uh, this would be perfect because you're you're setting us. It's a, it's a reference display, basically, yes. is what you're giving them as a reference display. And OLED's going to be a much better reference than LCD because of the colorimetry, right? You get deeper, deeper blacks. You get black actually. Yeah, so we uh, recently had a major studio that during COVID, they all had to live somewhere else, work somewhere else, yeah. right? But there were colorists that had to be able to do their, their animation. 
And the movie that we did, the animation they have above water, below water, sunset, morning, space, the lighting was very different in every one of them. So you have a whole bunch of different characters, a whole bunch of different lighting settings. They all worked independently in different locations as colorists. That's like the high end of yeah. challenging it. And they came up with a product that they really, really liked. So. All right, so that's the Pro LED product. I saw the announcement on that about a month ago, I think. Uh, so I hadn't seen it actually in person. So Dan, thank you very much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Dan, Dan Smith, the Vice President of Sales for, uh, for LG. And uh, if you want to see more, all you do is go to LG.com. Or we've actually gone through and saw, shot individual videos with much more detail on each one of these product stations. Go to RayPubs.com, click on the Infocom 2022 link, and then just type LG in the video search window. Thank you. Thank you.